Youth Runner here with Omri Lacefield, Sela Kittlestrom, and Hannah Thompson uh, from Montgomery. Uh, not only the best trio in the North Coast section, arguably in the entire state of California. Validated it again today uh, at the San Francisco Low Invitational in the uh, second girls varsity race. Uh, Hannah goes 15.54, Sela 16.31, Omri 16.38. Uh, as the season continues to go on, cannot wait to see how the depth uh, for Montgomery is going to support these women. Uh, I'll start over here uh, with, uh, with Armory. Uh, to that point, uh, how valuable are, are these experiences early in the year for, uh, for the rest of the group to kind of, you know, just find? I mean, there's never comfort in a big field like this, but just more understanding of like how you know how the, how they need to move up you know later on in races. Yeah, um, I think it's really good experience for all uh, seven of us, or we had six today, but all of us to kind of get used to a big field. Um, and like this start is kind of crazy sometimes, so it's a good like way to ease into the season. To that point, Omri, uh, just the the patience that's required, like you know, once you kind of get out of this long stretch of grass and then you kind of feel like then the race like officially starts it's like just make sure that you stay on your feet to kind of get out of this long stretch of grass and then you'll work the trails after that yeah a little bit i think also making sure that you have pretty decent positioning on the grass even though that can be hard trying to get out fast enough that you're not stuck in the middle is important well done thank you sila uh obviously you know there's just so uh, so much excitement and so much anticipation uh, uh, for this group it, it, can you uh, kind of assess this uh, for you personally, you, how, how you uh, would kind of uh, identify like this summer in comparison to past summers, and just you know, be, uh, being a veteran and just you know, uh, you know, learning what, what works for you and what works for the group? Yeah, so this summer was pretty different from last summer because we went to Nike Outdoor this year. So we didn't actually start summer training until June 24th. And then we were just prioritizing high mileage because that worked in the past. Uh, a few weeks ago, I hit a 70 mile week. So that's pretty different from uh, years past, but um, I think what really builds confidence is hitting high high volume workouts at a pretty good pace. That's what, if I'm just running all like zone one or two or whatever mileage, then I actually don't feel that confident. So it's also good to hit uh, good workouts. If I had asked freshman or sophomore Sela Kittlestrom about a 70 mile a week, <laughs> would you have been like, uh, we're, we're never getting there? I, I mean, or, I was, or is that something that excites you? I was really into soccer, so I don't I know. even know what I would have thought about that. You would have yeah. been, been like, just uh, tell me to run 70 yards, yeah, uh, not, like you know, not 70 miles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but I mean, is, is it something like that's now like familiar and, and routine? I mean, not always 70, but like, you know, but higher mileage uh, a week, like, is, is, is that something that, that you embrace at this point? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't want to hit 70 again until like December or like next June, but um, it, it definitely it builds confidence and it, it is pretty normal at this point, yeah, to hit high mileage. Awesome. Great job. Hana, the fact uh, that, you know, not just for you, but, uh, but for a large part of this group, it's like, you know, there's the, the aspect of, hey, this is the last time that I'm going to be at Golden Gate Park. It's going to be the last time that we're going to be at, you know, uh, Woodbridge. Obviously, you know, more, more than likely multiple trips uh, if there's Clovis and, and, and the state meet. But, you know, is, is, is there a sense of, like, just really being present and cherishing and appreciating all these experiences together, even the simple weekday workouts as well as the invitationals on the weekend? Yeah, I would definitely say so, like, being a senior is such, like, a weird experience because, like, you know that this is, like, your last time, like, last first time, like, me and stuff like that so like I just think I just really want to make this season count and like do everything I can to like have a good season and to have a good time with like the girls on this team and just to like um, really show up at meets and like do my best performance so yeah. how, uh, how, uh, how blessed uh, do you feel that uh, I mean because I know it's been a, a goal of yours maybe not always stated but uh, I know in that in that very intellectual mind of yours, uh, it's like what it would mean for, uh, uh, for this group uh, to, to contend for an NCS team title, to potentially be on the podium at the state. Right? You ladies have lived in an era where it's been Camp Lindo every day and yeah. twice on Sunday. Like, just you know, it, I mean, is that something that re that really inspires and motivates not just the three of you but all seven? Yeah, I would say so. I think like it's kind of at the back of everyone's mind, just like since sophomore year, like. Uh, freshman year, like it was just like Sila and I who went to state, um, and then c coming like with the team every year since, like it just it's really like a blessing. And like going into high school, I didn't think I would have these experiences with my teammates. So just like I think um, I don't think we're like trying to like talking about it all the time and like. Well, yeah, like, it's only September. Yeah, but like I think it's just like we just like are all putting in our best effort like to get there and like put our best foot forward and I think like everyone on this team has been working like really hard all summer um, and like all season just to like um, really like be strong and ready for the season so yeah. And last thing to that point that you said at the very end about being being strong, 
as a woman who's been to Golden Gate Park multiple times, you know, who knows what a September should look like, you know, what do you kind of emphasize or focus on in a race like this, knowing obviously there's so much more significant, you know, uh, ahead of you, but it's like, hey, if I'm going to be on the starting line, like, I'm going to I'm gonna compete, so what do you what do you really try to dial into on a day like today? Um, I think, I don't really dial into paces so much, because in my opinion, this isn't a very fast course. No. So, I usually just, I was really like, like, all the races that I've done, like, just the two that I've done so far, like, I've really been, like, kind of thinking about Woodbridge, like, in the back of my mind, just, like, trying to feel good throughout the first few miles and, like, just kind of, like, having, like, building confidence and, like, kind of, like, just building strength from, like, racing because it's, like, you can do hard workouts and stuff, but, like, actually being in a race and having to push through stuff alone, like, compared to, like, with a bike next to you or something like that, just, like, it feels a little bit different. So I think just, like, yeah, coming and executing what I want to do and, like, feeling like uh, like flowing kind of through it instead of like straining and pushing um, just like and to always like kind of feel like having Woodbridge at the back of my mind is important because like that's going to be like everyone's going to be there and it's just like I really want to be ready for that race. So. Absolutely perfect pivot for, uh, for both of you to, uh, to wrap up how, uh, how significant and special is, is a nighttime Woodbridge race you know, going uh, to be uh, for, uh, for you and, and obviously Armory I'll ask you the same. Um, yeah, I mean, in the past, my night races have been a little questionable. I kind of like to just like wake up and then race because otherwise I'm just nervous all day. But I watched it last year and the year before, obviously, it always does really well. And then, I don't know, it's cool they have like cheerleaders and like um, there's a lot of really fast people there. So I'm excited to like immerse myself in that atmosphere and see what happens. Most definitely. It, it, to, uh, to the point that she just said about the atmosphere, Omri, like, it, it, does, does that feel, you know, like uh, familiar and, and, just, and just kind of like, you just you ladies have been you know to the, the biggest races at Woodward Park you know I mean the biggest races around the state like is I mean I know that there's always like an anticipation and you know just kind of like a little bit of a nervous energy for any big race but just, just like you being in a setting like that you know in a sweepstakes race under the under the lights among the best women in the country like does that feel more natural now um well I'm actually not running Woodbridge this year okay um but I think that the two of them will slip into it well because we've had a lot of nice experiences. I guess maybe just more so for the group like yeah. is, is that something that like that the group has kind of evolved um, and adapted to I think we always kind of keep it in the back of our minds so I think it's not necessarily the sole thing that we focus on um, but I think so it's become a little bit more natural as we've gotten used to it awesome ladies uh, stay healthy for those that are running at Woodbridge uh, best of luck uh, but we know we're gonna see uh, the group at Clovis as well congrats thank you, thank you. Thank you.